Good morning, you guys. It has been a wild past couple days. I actually vlogged yesterday, but it was on my phone and the audio. I don't know, the audio drives me kind of nuts when it's on my phone. Uh, um. But yesterday, Riker got his second ever haircut. Can you say hi? <laughs> He's so crabby right now. Um, okay, so today's Wednesday. Like I said, I vlogged yesterday, but it just, the vlog didn't, it was blah, it was blah. Um, I just got done going to Target and I did go to Costco yesterday. So before I hop into my Target haul from today, I am going to insert the clip here of yesterday's Costco haul. They're all waiting for the fathers to come out. Out of the truck. What's up, Eddie? Okay, well now I'm joining them because of the, all the people up front because they just passed me with pink pink houseplants. We have to go get those, buddy. We need one of those really bad. I feel like it was fate that they passed us. Go. See, I'm like so all over the place and so ADD. Yeah, I'm gonna turn on a movie for you. Riker's having um, H. Wright Cheddar Skinny Pop at the table. Oh my gosh. I cannot go outside today. I cannot. I need to focus on editing and cleaning my house because it is absurd. It is crazy pants in here. Okay, let's get that going. Grocery haul. Let me show you really quick. Kind of really quick. Oh, that needs to be turned down. What I got from Costco. So you guys saw the pink plant. Um, I also got unsweetened, um, unsweetened pure leaf black tea, which is out, um, out in the garage because that's where we keep our drinks. Is in the shop fridge. And then I also got the kids Capri Sun. So all of that is in the garage right now. But I came home. Good timing. I came home right when Mike was home for lunch. So I made him help me carry in the giant box. Um, I picked up paper plates. They were like 10 bucks and I, I'm so bad in the summertime. I do not like to do the dishes in the summer, especially. I want something quick and easy for both lunch and dinner. So I got paper plates and I'm sorry for being a lazy mom, but I need it. My sanity, my sanity needs it. Um, I was just gonna show you my water. Not what I meant to. Um, tortilla chips, and I got the kids bagels for breakfast and my bagels for breakfast. Um, just really quick and easy on the go. I got keto hot dog buns. I got two of those actually. So two keto hot dog buns. I'll probably freeze one because they're only good for like two weeks at a time. And then I got keto hamburger buns because I have a whole thing of burgers. Um, and then I got keto bread for sandwiches. Hot dogs. These are our favorite hot dogs, the beef hot dogs from Costco, which is why I have so many buns. Um, I also love the jalapeno cheddar um, brats. Those are bomb diggity. Um, I picked up romaine hearts because I have all of the salad recipes coming for you guys in my TikTok and Instagram reels. So I needed all of the lettuce. Jalapeno artichoke dip. This is so good. And I actually want to see if I can create this into a salad dressing. We'll see. Um, but this is my favorite dip. And this summer, I'm actually like, so the goal for this summer for me is I'm hoping to, oh my gosh, how did this get so muffed up in the car? What happened? Um, my goal this summer for keto wise is I'm going to be carb cycling. Um, carb cycling is not only good for like mixing, mixing it up with your body, but also it allows me a little bit more freedom in the summertime. So if I do want to have some like skinny pop or if I want to have some tortilla chips um, with 
like some dip or something, it's super easy. Actually, that is the exact reason. Um, that is the exact reason why I ended up going on Weight Watches last summer instead of keto. I didn't really lose anything, um, but I did maintain. So I do have 20 more pounds I need to lose, like I said earlier. But um, after that, I'll probably just make, make sure that I'm exercising every single day hitting my steps every single day and like having less than 60 to 80 grams of carbs. Um, okay, so really quick before um, my phone falls again. Like I said, artichoke jalapeno dip, really yummy. Um, tzatziki sauce. Um, and then I also got baby cucumbers to go with that. Um, and the baby cucumbers are also for a salad I make that has it's actually my sister's recipe, but I've been loving it. Tomato, and you dice it all up, mix it together with a little bit of avocado oil or olive oil, and then you do um, a little bit of seasoning, and I do dill. And it is hands down like one of my most favorite salads right now. Um, for that, also got um, a tri-tip. Tri-tip is like actually one of my favorite meats. Um, or cuts of beef, I should say. Um, this chicken breast, okay, this is a little bit more expensive. This is $11.99, but it's broken out into 10 sections. So each one of these is going to be a salad for me. So that's going to last 10 salads. Like that's insane. And it's so quick and easy for me for lunch. Like toss it into a salad and go. Like that's it. Um, and then I grabbed... Havarti, Havarti is our favorite for sandwiches. I grabbed roast beef for sandwiches with the keto friendly bread, of course. Um, and then I also grabbed turkey breast for the sandwiches. I grabbed blueberries because we go through those so fast. I have a ton of other fruit on my counter right now, which is why I did not get more. I have watermelon, a cantaloupe, and a pineapple on my counter, and a whole thing of strawberries in the fridge. Do you want more? So that is why I didn't get more fruit is because we have a ton over there. Um, and I didn't get a whole lot of vegetables for grilling because I wanted to come back and kind of assess. Like I haven't gone grocery shopping for a couple weeks and I did not go with a list this time. Here, buddy. I didn't go into Costco with a list this time at all. Um, I just was kind of winging it. Um, but I saw these, I think Tara Henderson had the, no, who had these on their stories? Somebody had, had these on their stories the other day and I had to try them. Um, Island Way Sorbet. Um, yes, they are higher in carbohydrates, but like I said, I will probably be having this on a higher carb cycling day. Um, and then I also got Melo Melo Melona? 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 Um, I, these are the ones I saw in Tara Henderson's story and she really liked them. So we're going to try it because they're like Hawaiian apparently, but they're gluten-free, so bazinga. Um, anyway, so there's the treats I got. And I also grabbed some baked beans. Um, I usually like the Bush's baked beans, but um, I grabbed these just for um, heating up really quick on the side of all the hot dogs that we got. Um, it's really like quick and easy for, um, for hot dogs and hamburgers or whatever. Um, and then we also I should have grabbed regular potato chips. I usually have those in the summer too for the kids. Um, but I do have tortilla chips and skinny pop. Something else I want to pick up um, this week is some village salsa. That's like one of my absolute favorites. So good. So good. I need to get like four things of them um, because they're that good. It's my favorite salsa. Um, so I need to get that, probably some potato chips and like some sour cream and stuff so that I can have some easy things on hand for them. So, okay, that is my grocery haul. I'm going to put the uh, these things in the freezer uh, before they melt. And before I break them. So you kind of saw that little shop with me and like the Costco haul stuff. So Target today, um, so as you guys probably know, um, I have been like on and off, um, low carb. I've been carb cycling, if you will. Here, you can't have the whole thing of dip. 
So like right now, Riker is munching on chips and dip, and I've had a couple. Um, it's and the only reason why I allow myself to have a little bit more carbohydrates in the summer when I'm actively losing weight is because um, I am super active in the summer. Like I'm constantly moving, um, but I can definitely tell when I've eaten a little bit too much um, junkola because. Um, I start to bloat and I just feel kind of nasty. And I, yesterday, um, when I, <laughs> he's like having these chips. Yesterday, when I got back from Costco, um, I had biker shorts on and it was fine. But I was trying on a pair of like different shorts that I had in my room and I realized that like my legs just felt like jigglier, like if that makes sense. Like I haven't been working out quite as much, but I've been super active outside. So I wonder if that has something to do with it. Um, but anyways, yes, I got my Peloton in um, and I am going to try and hop on it for my first time today because my schedule isn't as insane. So I just have to get some laundry done and just get things in order in here a little bit. Um, I think it's supposed to rain this afternoon, so. Anyways, without any further ado, let me show you what I got from Target. Um, okay, I got these ripple chips <laughs> and top the tater. Okay, that's like classic, classic chips and dip in our house, especially for the kids. Um, probably the number one reason why I gained weight was those chips and dip. Um, I picked up this secret sauce by Hidden Valley Ranch. Um, in the spicy because Mike and I really like spicy and um, I think it was um, Brianna K shared this and um, said it was really good so I wanted to try it out because we always I like love sauce on everything I, I'm a sauce fanatic I'm so crazy about it um, and then I also I just grabbed these from the dollar spot actually I didn't grab them Riker grabbed them when we were walking by in the Target dollar spot um, and later on, I'm gonna have to show you guys, but I got those cute plastic Adirondack chairs that everybody's been like like raving about um, in the Target dollar section, like in their bullseye section. They have $5 kids Adirondack chairs and then like $5 like tables that match them. Um, so I picked up two white ones and then a table. It was gonna get like blue or red, but with like all of the stuff that's going in the backyard. It's basically tan, black, and white. So I wanted them to kind of blend in so I didn't end up tossing them because they looked too cheesy or whatever. Um, so anyways, I will show you guys the, those um, in a little bit. I went to Target specifically for um, like air freshener and I knew that I wanted those Adirondack chairs but I thought that they were out of stock. It just turns out you can't buy them online. So, um, and then strawberry jello, um, sugar-free strawberry jello. This is a staple um, for me when I am low carb and I want like a really yummy dessert. Also, those um, fruit in a shell cups, they're not low carb, um, but they're like, it's sorbet in a fruit shell. That's what it is, sorbet in a fruit shell. They are incredible. Like they're so stupidly good. Like I, I had two yesterday and Mike had two yesterday. It's a 12 pack and we're hiding them from the kids because they're so good. We also got like those Malona Melona um, popsicle things. They're like Hawaiian style. Um, and the kids are eating those and those are like sorbet like pops essentially. But the sorbet in the fruit cups, that's for mom and dad only. It is so good. Um, I picked up some plastic where because, and I explained this in my Costco haul yesterday, but I'm a lazy mom in the summertime. Um, the plastic forks and um, spoons and stuff. The reason why I get these, so I don't actually throw them away when I'm done. I'll try and reuse them as much as I possibly can, um, but I will, I'll wash them. It's just, I don't want my nice silverware going outside in the summertime in case it falls on the ground or it gets forgotten about, etc. I just, I don't want my nice um, flatware outside. So that's why I get the plastic, whatever, forks and knives and stuff. Um, now, like I said, I specifically went to Target because I needed stuff to make it smell good in here. I'm out of, I'm basically out of like all of my scents and things. So I picked up quite a few different things. I picked up, um, 
Oh, this is my favorite. It's called coconut sorbet. In the summertime, that is the only thing that I am going to be burning or like diffusing is something with coconut in it because coconut is my favorite. My favorite summertime and springtime scent. Actually, springtime I would say is more so like sandalwood and lavender. And summer I start to like kind of drift over to the coconut side. So I got the big candle in the coconut sorbet or huh, isn't that funny because every everything I've been eating lately or like all the things I've been talking about lately have been sorbet. So ironic. Um, oh yes, I got sunscreen for the kids. Um, it says Reef Conscious Formula. So my um, my esthetician who does my facials told me if it says Reef Conscious Formula, then it's likely a mineral sunscreen. Um, but I don't know if that is if that applies to these or not. I'm not. Don't quote me, not 100% sure, but they were $9.99 for a two pack, so I grabbed those. Mm -hmm. I always keep those in the garage um, so that I can quickly spray down the kids. And then um, I got a smaller version of the co coconut sorbet um, so that I could throw one into my bedroom. Um, I picked up this diffuser cover by Opal House. This is a scented oil warmer. It's like the ones from Bath & Body, but they're way, way more affordable. And what's up, my dude? Yeah. You want jello too? Okay, why don't you finish your dip first? You're gonna need a spoon. Is there a spoon? What do you say? Please. Say please. Please, mom. Can you say please, mom? Say please. So this scented oil warmer, this was $8 um, from Target. Super cute, I just got like plants. Um, and then I got Sunlit Sands. These are five dollars each. Again, way more affordable. I have not, I have not used them yet, so I don't know if they're as good as the Bath and Body ones. But wanted to give them a shot. Um, like I said, it took me forever in the store to actually find these. They were on like a hidden end cap, like not towards like the main aisles. It was on like the back aisle, if that makes any sense. Um, but the Sunlit Sands has creamy coconut and golden sands. Um, and then I also grabbed. I just started with two. Because I wanted to see if I liked it. Um, and the other one I got was passion flower and coconut, which is coconut nectar and passion flower. So these are the two that I got. Um, like I said, I wanted something for my entryway just because there's like a lot of like in and out from like the shop and like all of the kitchen smells tend to like linger down there. Um, if we're working on the basement, the cat litter box is down there. I've never really smelled our cat litter box, but I'm paranoid that one day I will smell it. Um, so with that being said, I, I just always have some kind of scent in our entryway. And then for the main floor, I usually run like my diffuser or I will run or run. I will light some candles. So, uh, yeah, that's what I got it. Okay. I'm getting, why am I getting so many phone calls? All right, so that is my Target haul and my Costco haul. I know this is gonna be a longer vlog because I have my Target haul and my Costco haul in it. So anyways, it just makes up for all the last time when I was not vlogging, so you're welcome. Okay, for lunch, I am kind of experimenting a little bit. I'm trying not to eat any more of those. I had like four chips already. Um, okay, oh, I forgot to show you guys this. Um, I got these shorts and i'm usually a size 12 but they only had a size 14 left so i'm going to try them on and just see if they fit um i'd rather go up and then go down because you know it's just like not comfortable when you're wearing super tight shorts especially in the summertime okay so i'm trying to do like a summer salad series for you guys like on my tiktok my instagram um because a lot of what I eat is salad. And um, I know like some people don't like salads and that's okay. I try to do like non-traditional salads so you're not just like consuming tons of lettuce. I try to do like a little bit like different style of things. Um, like I do like a cucumber tomato. Actually, I didn't come up with, my, up with it. My sister came up with it. Um, one of my favorites was rotisserie chicken, cucumber, tomato, and then my sister introduced me to the cucumber, tomato, and feta, and then I put chicken in that as well, just like the little, these little crumbles that I got from Costco, which 
I'm getting these every single time I go grocery shopping. These in those fruit sorbet cup things. Holy moly, these are, it seems so like stupid and simple. Like all they did was just like individually packaged chunks of chicken, but it saves me insane amounts of time. And for the summer, yes please. Like in the winter and the fall, I have a little bit more time to prepare my own lunches because I'm inside, it's cold, I'm not really going anywhere. Um, the summer, I am on the go. Like I need disposable plates, I need plastic wear, I need really fast lunch ideas. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do here in these like TikTok and Reels, TikTok videos and Reels. Um, so I'm coming up with a new recipe today. I'm going to try this new um, secret Hidden Belly Ranch sauce stuff. Oh, careful, bunny. Oh my gosh, this is... Okay. So like to me, it's like a little sweet. So it's kind of like ranchy that, you know, ranch has just like a, a hint of sweetness, just like a little bit. Um, this reminds me of that, but then like spicy. It is very good. Hot and zesty. Okay, so what I'm thinking... Oh, now that I've tasted it, hmm, what do I want? I need something to balance that sweetness, so I need something that's kind of tangy. Okay, hold that thought. This, um, the bangs, okay? The bangs are really cute when I actually do my hair, um, but when I throw it up in a hat, it's not, it, they're just, <laughs> I don't even know. Anyways, okay, so I forgot to end the vlog. Um, I ended up, so, in regards to the last clip, um, I was trying to experiment with a new salad recipe, which I did come up with something. It's over on my TikTok and over on my Instagram reels. Um, and I did incorporate that secret sauce on there and it is so, so good. So make sure that you guys head over to my TikTok, my Instagram reels and see what I came up with. I, th that one was like a bizarre recipe, but it paired so well. Um, and I'm being destroyed with how I say um, feta cheese. So it's feta and I have always said feta. Like when did it start? It actually started like way, way back. And here I'm thinking, I was like, well, maybe it's just like a Minnesota thing. And then on my TikTok, people were like, girl, like I'm from Minnesota and we do not say it that way. So I'm like, maybe it's just my circle. Like I remember um, when I was growing up, I, when I was growing up, somebody that I worked for when I was like 15 um, introduced me to it and she called it feta cheese. And my sister calls it that. And I feel like I've always heard feta and like, I feel really bad that I've been mispronouncing it. You guys know that I mispronounce things all the time. No shame in that. And I will do better next time. I will definitely call it feta from now on. Okay. All right. Now that that's done, I seriously, I got destroyed on TikTok and I think it's hilarious, hilarious. Cause I'm like, oops, sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyway. Um, but that recipe was really, really good. Make sure that, that you guys go and check it out. I am vlogging every single day and combining them into videos three times a week for you guys. This weekend's videos are going to um, be all of us, like the, we're doing the fence. And I plan to have an at home with Morgan video up showing you guys like the time-lapse progress and all of the things in the process. So stay tuned for that over on my at home channel. And then I will have another vlog on my channel on Monday here for you guys. And it's just going to be a bunch of vlogs this summer. So I hope you guys are looking forward to all of the vlogs and I will see you on Monday for another like mommy vloggy video thing. Okay. All right. Bye guys. Oh, that's terrible. 10 out of 10, do not recommend um, this. Okay, goodbye.